Hi, Nairobi has had a very interesting art scene for the last several decades, from paintings to pottery and sculptures. There's always something for an enthusiast like myself. But there's something that has come up with the AI boom, and that is AI art. These are pieces that you will not find in your typical gallery or museum, created through AI tools, printed and then framed, and the best place to cut them is along the Nairobi traffic, where hawkers are making money out of them. So I'm here at Ring Road in Kilelesha, where I should be able to spot one of the hawkers who's been selling these pieces. So we've just gotten hold of one of the hawkers. His name is Mutui Kitana, and this is one of the pieces that he's selling. As you can see, this is neither an oil or an acrylic painting. It has all the features of an AI-generated image. This is a print of an AI-generated image, you know, no definite lines and that sort of thing. Okay. Uh, 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 Okay. Uh, he says he sells an average of two pieces a day, which he buys from someone who prints and frames them. Na ukikompea katia hizi za machine na zile za kuchora na mkono gani ndio ma customer wanapenda zaidi sana Customer wengi wanatuuliza anga tuache kuusa hii hmm. tuuse ya kuchoro Na bei ya hizo za mkono bei yake ina range of hizo za bei ya hizo za bei ya mkono hmm. ni bei kali sana ah. hizo za za 20 Across the road we meet Sam Miner who also buys the art pieces from a vendor in Nairobi's Githurai area Miner has been hawking AI-generated art pieces for the last two months and seems to have a rough idea of how his vendor makes them. Yeah. Oh, there are some customers when you tell difference ya hii ya kutengeneza na computer kuna wenye wanajua kuna wenye wanajua different ya kuchoro na hii ya printing ya sasa unapataka customer akipa akiguza hivi asikia ni printing anaruka wezi kuna wenye wanajua mambo yake okay sasa wenye zinatembea sana hizi za watu sana sana watu watu kama hii Okay. Uh, now you can be the same. Come the same. Here, much uh, it's the, same it's be the, same. Uh, the type of art we've seen from Sam and Mutui is the product of what we call text to image AI models. These are AI tools trained using a data set and then used to create fresh data. In this case, an AI tool is prompted, giving it the description that you want of an image using the natural language, which is the language I'm speaking to you right now, and then it will respond to you with an image that fits that description. These kind of tools include DAL-E by the American company OpenAI, which has also created ChatGPT. Google also has theirs, it's called Imaged. So how this whole thing works, we'll use ChatGPT for this one and tell it to create an image of, say, a black man with dreadlocks and a black t-shirt smiling let's see what we get from that five minutes later and here we are here is the image of a black of a smiling black man rather with dreadlocks and a black t-shirt as requested it should also be noted that ai generated imagery should not be confused with digital art where one uses a graphics tablet 
or an iPad to generate paintings. The other thing, as you might imagine, is that there's already a lot of controversy surrounding AI-generated art. So the first question is, these large language models are taught using real artists' work. So the question becomes, who owns these kind of pieces and the whole ethics around it. The other thing is mediocrity, as some of the artists have described this kind of work. This is in comparison to where, to a real painting, say an oil painting, when artists, there's thought and depth behind it and the story that the artist wants to convey. So, tell us, what do you think of AI-generated art? Have you ever bought it and would you spend your money on it?